Today, we're talking about coolers. Alright guys, so here we are. Uh, we've all seen the Yeti, and we've probably drooled over these. And if you're cheap like me, you think and dream about buying one of these, but they're expensive. And so the question we had was, is it worth it? So when we stumbled across this, yep. we, we, we thought we'd give this a shot. Now tell us about what this one is. So this is a cooler from a website called Monoprice. And I stumbled upon it because I normally buy cables from Monoprice because they make cheap stuff. Um, I found this on their website, and just to give you a little bit of a comparison, this is the Yeti 20, um, and it's $200, pretty much anywhere. This is a 25 liter, so it's 5 liters bigger than this guy, and this was $100. So, so about half the price. Half the price, 5 liters A little bit bigger, more. yeah. So our approach to this was, you know, what's the cost value, what are we trading off, and Basically, we thought, you know, let's first give it a visual inspection, and then we're going to, we're going to actually going to go ahead and show you some of the tests that we did and how uh, those test results came out. You know, on first inspection, you know, you look at the Yeti, it's pretty heavy, it's actually very heavy, and if you don't know much about these coolers, they're actually, uh, they're like a, a, a typical ice chest, except they're much, much more durable, the plastic is a much higher grade, and the insulation level is very thick. In fact, if you open it, um, you can see how thick that lid is. That is, that's gonna be solid insulation inside of there. And the difference between these and like a, a grocery store or your local hardware store one is um, a lot of times they don't insulate the lids and they always break. Yep. And so these are actually built to last. These ones are so strong that they do technically rate these as uh, bear proof or bear deterrence. Bear certified. Bear certified, bear. cool. These are really popular with the hunters. You can actually pack some dry ice in here and some meat. And you can actually put these on a plane, I believe, with the appropriate yes, marking and stuff. You can. Another thing to note is they do have um, the locks. There's just these little holes. Um, you can use those for zip ties or actual locks. Again, if you were on a plane, uh, you could put the TSA certified locks there. Um, so they can still inspect it and whatnot. So um, rubber, these rubber latches, while they seem kind of goofy, they lock very well. It's and very tight. They don't crack like the cheaper ones do, because they're such you know high high grade uh, rubber. Yeah. So anyway, that's a quick review. Um, this guy, this is the one that we all know and love. And compared to this guy, what do you think? So, What's the quality? The quality difference. The plastic definitely feels exactly the same on both coolers. On this one, again, it has the lid is very thick, very insulated. Uh, the walls of this guy are very insulated as well. Uh, differences would be, I would say these latches feel slightly cheaper than these rubber latches. Uh, they feel like they'll, they stretch a little bit more and potentially could get brittle, not sure, but they definitely don't quite feel as strong as these though, they do work. Um, some other differences are, here we have a bottle opener that's built in, nice. and then another padlock uh, spot. The, both of these are aluminum soft handles on the sides of this guy instead of one giant handle. Again, only Yeti that has this giant ha handle. Which if you're just taking drinks to the lake or something, this is going to be easy to carry. Absolutely. This probably awkward for two people or for one person and potentially two people carry that. So, no, But it is a bigger design so it does make sense that it would be that way. Uh, one cool thing I did notice about this, and I've seen people do sim things similar to this before, uh, but they'll use the tops of these as like a prep surface for your for your food. Mm -hmm. So once you've got your ingredients out, then you can use this as a prep service, uh, surface. Yeah. And this one actually has um, a ruler, so it has a 16 inch ruler here, which, you know, I mean, if you're portioning out meat or something, uh, that could be kind of handy. Yeah. Cutting rope, I don't know. It's just kind of cool that it's there. 
So anyway, so now that we just kind of did a quick overview and just kind of looked at it, that's not the interesting part of the video, I'm sure. What you all really want to know is how they perform. So, uh, Drake, tell us what we did. So we did several tests with these guys uh, over a period of about three days. The first test that I did was just putting 10 pounds of ice in each of them, letting it sit for 24 hours to see how much ice was left in both of them after 24 hours. And to be honest, both after 24 hours were pretty much the same. They actually wow. both had about the same amount of ice and barely any of it melted after 24 hours. Wow, which yeah, most, most cheap coolers are losing all of the thermal value through the lid. And typically 24 hours, you're seeing quite a bit of water pooling. Okay, so the second test that we did was we put LaCroix cans in here, we put four in each one, and then we left it for another 24 hours with the same ice. With the same ice. So another 24 hours, but this time we added a beverage so it's actually cooling something. And we kept the same ice in there. I wanted, and to, the same ice. I wanted to see how long that 10 pounds of ice would last okay. in these guys. And I think the idea there is that like ice itself will stay frozen for a long time. But this, the, the, the item staying cold, it might have a, a different, um, because it's not at a freezing temp, yes. it's not going to um, read the same way. And so it's not really about how cold is the ice, because the ice is always going to be cold until it runs out. Mm -hmm. It's how cold is your food going to be. Yeah. And so that's kind of where that came in, is who cares what the ice is, <laughs> how long does the food stay cold? Okay. So we actually used a thermal mm -hmm. uh, thermometer that you use for air conditioning and stuff like that it has a little laser in so you can see how cold or hot something is yeah to do all that's of our great, yeah. measurements after 24 hours of the drinks being in here so now that's 48 hours but the ice has been in here about half the bag was melted in both of them of the ice mm -hmm. the drinks starting off were about 76 to 78 degrees. That was just kind of room temperature. So average room, yeah. When I put them in here. After 24 hours of them being in here, they were sitting roughly at 50 degrees mm -hmm. of 24 hours, which not, is not super cold, but it was very drinkable, and I thought it was a perfectly fine temperature for the drinks to be. Now, the third test that we did was I took both of these with their half melted ice and the LaCroix and put them in my car for another 24 hours. Now, in Reading, where we are right now, it's about 100 degrees outside during the day, and it gets stupid hot in your car when it's just parked in the sun. So I put both of these in the trunk, and- We actually have people put that big cookies on their dashboard. Yeah, we did. We legitimately are that, that city, so. <laughs> so we put both of these in the car with the ice and water for another 24 hours, then pulled them out, to see what the difference was. Now, both of them, by this time, the ice had fully melted. So now we're at 72 hours and all the ice is gone. Still in the high 40s inside the cooler, as far as the water temperature, but the external temperature was about 107, 110 on both of these. Okay. So you're talking 110 wow. down to high 40s, um, low 50s. So to finalize, this video and all the stuff that we've talked about going back and forth. Is the Yeti worth the price? Is this a good knockoff comparison that will do the trick and cost you half the price? Uh, we have both talked about it several times and we feel like the model price cooler is actually well worth the money and potentially a better purchase than the Yeti. Now, we love our Yetis. We have a couple Sorry. of them, <laughs> but this guy, half the price, a little bit bigger, and pretty much equal in all the tests that we've done. I, it has been equal in all the tests we've done. I, there hasn't been an yeah. advantage either one. Will this keep your food cold? And the answer is yes. It yes. will keep your food cold. Now, so. they make bigger versions of this too. This isn't the only one that they make. This is the smallest one that they make. They make an 80 liter, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 60 or 80 liters and the price was the same as this guy. Yeah. So so when you go to make your purchase, you know, don't roll these out just because they're not na name brand. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's there's probably gonna be some little pros and cons and things that we didn't think about. Absolutely. But make sure you consider it because, uh, you know, 50% savings is huge. Um, you know, warranty labels, those things might be important to you, but you know, uh, you know, if you're making an investment, stretching those dollars for more, for more gear is always what we wanna do. Absolutely. So, yeah. You'll definitely be seeing this cooler and 
more of these coolers in our videos. Uh, I think this is kind of the direction that we're gonna be going, sadly, even though we still love our Yetis. Yeah, definitely love the Yeti. Uh, we'll probably be testing a couple others and we'll let you know how those are too, but um, this was the first one on the list and so far we're pumped. Absolutely. So, all right guys, so you saw the video, you saw the facts, we made a long story long, um, but if you are Yeti or another company with a cooler, we'd love to check it out and compare it with these guys. We're gonna be making some more videos like this with both coolers and other gear out there. Absolutely. Uh, so give us a shout, leave us a comment. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe because we're gonna be pump pumping out more content just like this, giving you real world reviews and our experience with these types of products. Yeah. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for following. Thanks for supporting Adventure Driven TV. Peace.